Tyler Floyd Zankovich, one global team focused on what you do. The New York Convention. The New York Convention is the single most important treaty on international commercial arbitration. Its full title is the United Nations Convention on the Recognition and Enforcement of Foreign Arbitral Awards, and it was done in New York in 1958. Today, it has 162 state parties and therefore has close to global application. Its full title already indicates why it is of such significance. It provides in its Article 3 that each contracting state will recognize and enforce foreign arbitral awards. The Convention therefore ensures that arbitral awards can travel freely throughout the world. The New York Convention, however, also includes a safety net which aims at ensuring that arbitral awards which are enforced will also comply with certain minimum standards. Its Article 5 therefore contains a list of reasons for which national courts may refuse recognition and enforcement of an award. The grounds are essentially that the arbitration agreement is invalid, that the respondent was unaware of the ongoing proceedings or was otherwise unable to present uh, his case, that the award exceeds the scope of the arbitration agreement, that the tribunal was not composed in accordance with the agreement of the parties, and that the award has not yet become binding or has been set aside in the country of origin. These grounds have to be invoked and they have to be argued in the enforcement proceedings. The New York Convention also includes two grounds for the refusal of recognition and enforcement that will be taken into account ex officio. The first is the dispute uh, in which the award has been rendered is not arbitral under the law of the place of enforcement. The second is that the, the award uh, violates the public policy of the country in which enforcement is sought. This system ensures both that arbitral awards can be enforced in most parts of the world and at the same time that the courts of the member states uh, retain a minimum control over the enforcement proceedings. A second provision of the New York Convention, which is of great practical relevance, is its Article 2. Article 2 provides that the courts of member states will also recognize a valid arbitration agreement. This provision stipulates that if a party to litigation before national courts invokes an arbitration agreement, the court, the court will reject the claim. The court, when taking this decision, will review the validity of the arbitration agreement. First, it will review whether the dispute is arbitrable at all. Second, it will review whether the arbitration agreement is formally valid, i.e. whether it is in writing. Third, it will review whether the arbitration agreement is null and void or inoperative or incapable of being performed. This mechanism ensures not only that arbitral awards are enforced by member states, but also that the, the agreement to arbitrate itself is. Both are essential elements to ensure the effectivity of arbitration as a dispute resolution mechanism.